Hello again, friends. We continue today in searching out and responding to those things that God says will bring us joy. In our world, there is such a need for joy. And one of the most effective witnesses to God's ability to transform our lives is to be people of joy, no matter what's going on around us. We don't have to just paste a smile on our face while our heart is breaking. That certainly isn't what God intends. But God has a way to help us get through even the tough times that will make our hearts know peace and joy. The Bible says, but let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Thank you, Lord, that we can find refuge in you. We need protection on so many fronts, and you promise to be our protection. We are grateful for the safety we can know that you are watching over us and will always be with us. Doesn't mean we won't face problems, but we know that we won't face them alone and that your power and grace to show us a way through will be more than adequate. We rejoice in you today. The Bible also says the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Well, Lord, we don't want our words of trust in you to just be words, but to really be the action of our hearts. You are our strength and you help us when we rely on you. That's what makes our heart leap for joy and what fills our sour mouths with singing. You love righteousness, the Bible said, and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. In our broken and confused world, we pray for discernment and wisdom, so we truly love what is right and hate what is wicked. All around us, governments, including our own, are enacting laws that bring forward what you say isn't good. They are shaming those who uphold your righteous principles, but no matter the voices around us, we pray to be faithful witnesses to the truth. Thank you for your promise of lifting us up to a place of joy and peace when we do that. We choose to be people of God today, people of joy in your presence, enjoying all that you are giving us. Amen. Well, if we respond to God, we'll have joy. Let's do that today.